Where do you want me to start? From the beginning. One late afternoon, a mysterious woman, who introduces herself as Dr. Reed Rosemary, visits the villa of the old notary, Richard Felton, whom suffers from a strange disease. He is assisted by his personal nurse, Gloria Ashman. After a brief and fruitless conversation, Reed is exposed as an imposter. She has come to the villa to find out what really happened to Felton's missing adopted daughter, Celeste. After being thrown out and refusing to give up, Reed hides until nightfall and sneaks back into the villa to search for clues. As Reed explores the villa, she soon finds herself in the center of her worst nightmare. Richard Felton has killed his wife, Ariana Gallo, and has lost his sanity. Upon learning that Reed has infiltrated the villa, Felton and a mysterious red nun begin hunting Reed. Reed eventually reaches the attic, where a mysterious girl who claims to be called Jennifer is found looming in the shadows. Reed eventually discovers that Richard Felton and the Jennifer in the attic are actually the same person. Richard Felton was born as a woman, but was then forced by her cruel father to live as a man. Phenoxyl, a drug created by Felton, the Ashmans and Professor Wyman on the Rosagallo farms, was created from a rare breed of parasitic moths to repress and erase traumatic memories. It is revealed that the drug was tested on Felton and the nuns of the nearby convent. The drug caused terrible side effects, hallucinations, severe light sensitivity, and homicidal rage. As Reed was escaping Jennifer, Gloria returns to the villa and offers to help Reed. Gloria drugs Reed, and upon wakening, she finds Gloria forcing Felton to cut out his own tongue and burn himself to death. Gloria reveals that she is the Red Nun, the sole survivor of the fire at the convent, which was started to cover up the Phenoxyl experiments. Gloria had been hypnotizing Felton for revenge. After a frantic confrontation, Reed manages to escape Gloria's murderous rage. Just before Gloria passes, she reveals that Celeste is still alive and that she had fled the Felton Villa years ago. Reed must continue her search for unanswered questions. If Gloria was the daughter of Felton's associates, the Ashmans, why was she used as a guinea pig for experiments in the convent? Who were the Feltons protecting their daughter from? What happened to Celeste Felton? You can't erase memories forever. It would be like erasing time itself. Memories and time go hand in hand. The consequences would be even more devastating than Alzheimer's disease. There would be no separation between pre and post trauma. The memories would wander autonomously in search for answers, for a common ground. Fractured by spells of amnesia, hallucinations, and emotional swings, two opposing perceptions would coexist. 
overlapping and threatening one another. To the detriment of the one truth, now shattered, the so-called porcelain memory. Are you really suggesting that all this time, these people kept these experiments synthesizing this parasite, the moths, that were carried out on the nuns at the plantation a secret, making them intentionally ill as if they were lab rats? Just for this drug? The phenoxyl, the farm, the moths, the hypnosis, and all those deep and dark family secrets. Family secrets are very dangerous. The most dangerous of any kind. The only way to survive was burying them so far down inside ourselves. And to move on. Richard Felton, Ariana Gallo, Professor Wyman, the Ashman sons, Stefano and Gloria Ashman. They all made a choice. And so did I. So you chose to forget. For 49 years, I left a part of me behind at that time. I did everything they asked of me. 
forget. But one day, that missing puzzle piece resurfaced, like dirt stuck beneath your fingernails. It is there and always has been. Sometimes it is a song, a lullaby, or a certain item. But for me, that missing puzzle piece was a special person. A lonely one, just like me. Yes. Hello? Who is this? Ashman? Mr. Ashman, Chris! The girl is here. Shall I let her in? Go on. Sit down. You know why you're here, young lady, don't you? I am willing to turn a blind eye to the money and the cigarettes. Don't be fooled into thinking that I don't know about them. But for everything else, I refuse to do so! This is not a tourist resort, nor a playground! Breaking an entry? Larceny! What plans did you have for that gun? For God's sake, Jennifer, tell me! I don't know anymore. It seems you are a magnet for trouble. From what I'm reading, you caused a lot of hassle, especially at the Flemington Girls Institute. Other girls similar to you ended up straight in juvie. Did you know that? All I can do is apologize. I can assure you I never intended... Young lady, what are you running away from? You are safe here. You can talk to me about it. I'm serious! <sighs> Very well. We will have to talk about this again. Considering what has happened, I have made arrangements to give you new chores. You will help Eliza in the kitchen. But, sir! You will do your best. I've always done my best here! I seriously doubt that. When you become of age, you will do as you wish and as you see fit. But until then, you are under my care and you will do as I say. Run along now. Oh, and by the way, Lindsay will no longer be a problem for you. What do you mean? She insisted that I send you elsewhere. Instead, I have organized to have her transferred to another facility. They will be coming to collect her next week. You may leave. The bathroom in room number 212 has to be cleaned. Oh, and don't forget that you'll be helping Elisa in the kitchen after lunch. Okay. You've really done it this time. Make sure that the two of you don't get him agitated after his parents' death. Mr. Ashman Jr. did everything by himself here. What happened to them? Dead, my dear. Like all those who grow old. And I'm sure the mourning sped up the process. Mourning? For the nearby convent. Have you seriously not heard of it? The convent just went up in flames one day. Even this building was partly damaged. A dozen nuns died in that fire. Mr. Ashman's sister, Gloria, being one of them. That's terrible. They had contracted some sort of disease. They practically went blind. They had gone mad. And that Dr. Wyman? Sure as hell didn't help them. Poor girl. She was locked up in there by her own parents. Why? Hi, Jen. Oh, Andrea. I'll start with room 213. D 
did Mr. Ashman have something to do with it? Shh! Lower your voice! You'll get us thrown out of here. It seems that Mr. Ashman had the bad habit of touching his little sister. Oh, God. Obviously, the parents didn't like this at all. So they sent him to a family relative in the North and his sister Gloria to the convent. If it were me, I would have done the opposite. For him, the arrangement only lasted a few months. For her instead? Well, that's another story entirely. He had always been mommy and daddy, sweetheart. Of knocking? <laughs> no way. It is so last year. Everything okay with Ashman? Of course. Fantastic. Never better. Everything is great. He got angry, didn't he? Why would you care, Lynn? Tell me. I was just asking. Asking what? It's none of your business. What are you talking about? You can't be upset with me forever. I'm trying not to be, but my arm keeps reminding me. I didn't mean to. It was only... an accident. Do you have any idea how guilty I feel? Then please, I feel so shit about it. I didn't want it to get to this point. I already know it all. Ashman told me everything. What are you talking about? You suggested to him that I be transferred elsewhere. Is that what you wanted? You're really a bitch sometimes. A bitch who let herself be fooled. But no, in the end, you withdrew yourself. You didn't want to get in trouble. I didn't want to get in trouble. Well said. You think we would have gotten away with it, right? Go away, Lynn. Leave me alone. No! You're- you're going to let me speak! Go away! Just please! Open the fucking door! The, 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 the door! Fuck you, Lynn! Fuck you! You were just loyal. I thought we knew each other, but I was wrong. Go away. I beg you. I can't believe I'm still dragging around this lice-infested suitcase. 
I've had it since I was at the Flemington Institute. Hotel will reopen in late spring. Until then, I will only see the same ugly old faces. What does it mean? If this is a joke, I don't like it at all, Lynn. Room 213. Eliza said she would have taken care of it. I don't understand why it's locked. Locked? This door has never been locked before. guests at the hotel. Who could have ordered a meal? What the hell does Acherontia mean? <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell did they do to me? You know they used to call him Wyman once upon a time! <laughs> You're hurting me! It's part of all of us.
supposed to be the hotel. It feels more like an orphanage. Andrea, what the hell is going on with you? This is all so surreal. External calls, only to other hotel rooms. <laughs> no, no, no! Oh, it's there's so a tired. big padlock! Oh, where could the key be? Here, working my ass off. They're coming. I will slice your throat, you bitch. They completed their chores? Obviously not. Here, working my ass off. They mustn't find me.
be best if I just told him. I don't work with crybabies. What happened? What? It's Andrea. Fuck. What the hell is going on with you, Andrea? I, I, I must warn the others. She locked the door. I'm trapped.
think what now? I have to make sure not to get caught. Oh god, I hope they don't find out. It's coming from room 213. Who's waiting? Elisa? Where did everybody go? I shouldn't have encouraged Lynn to take part in the contest, and maybe I wouldn't have almost lost an arm. What was going through your head, Lynn? There's no power! It won't work! It would be best if I just told him I don't work with crybabies. The only one who actually gets any work done around here is me. Completed their chores? Obviously not. Yes, yes, please. Yes, I did it.
This is supposed to be the hotel. It feels more like an orphanage. Oh no! What could the code be? Chores? Obviously not. I don't want to die! I don't want to die! Enough with the hiding! You can do it, Jen. You can do it! It's all their fault. In order to factory reset your save, Girls. insert the following code. Girls. Three, two, one. In order to factory reset your save, insert the following code. Three, two, one, four. It would be best if I just told him. I don't work with crybabies.
supposed to be the hotel. It feels more like an orphanage. Yes, yes, yes! The French window. What are all these cages doing here? Felton? Gallo? So <laughs> the mirror. It couldn't have shattered by itself. I saw it. What's going on, kids? Mommy is coming. Andrea, I'm tired. Enough with the hiding! Calm down, calm down. Everything is fine. Mommy is here. The master key. I have to call Nanny. Mommy is exhausted. One of these days, you're all going to make me crazy.
completed there must their chores? Be a way. Obviously not. It would be best if I just told him. I don't work with crybabies.
still no news regarding last night's massacre at the peaceful residence of Cervo Scuro, where the body of Richard Felton, a well-known notary, was found burnt in his own home. The man who was legally registered as Jennifer Richard Dean Felton and was found completely drenched in kerosene. The body of 38-year-old Gloria Ashman was also found at the scene. She was his personal assistant and a former nun at the Cristo Morente convent. Her body was found mutilated as she was reported thrown out a courtyard-facing window, apparently following a heated argument. The neighbors claimed to have spotted a distinctive woman lurking around the area, having parked a white van nearby. Missing. February 8th, 1971. Celeste Felton, 13 years old. Beloved adopted daughter of Richard Felton. Assigned by Flemington Institute to the Foster Home and Work Project at the Ashman Inn, 1973. Jennifer. Miss, Mr. Ashman is waiting for you. Did you say Reed? Are you a relative? More like an old family friend. Please come in, Miss Reed. Come in. Don't be afraid. I don't bite. What is Reed? A pun? Good evening, Mr. Ashman. You've certainly come a long way. You have gone from simple larceny and battery all the way to homicide and arson. Are you here to broaden your resume? Do you remember me? I'll never forget a face. Maybe because I don't have one anymore. I know exactly why you're here. The same exact reason why that son of a bitch Felton ended up like cooked meat. What ever happened to Celeste Felton? I have here a dossier from the Flemington Girls Institute granting custody of 15-year-old girl Jennifer and certifying that she is to be a housekeeper at this hotel. Celeste Felton and the girl in the photo are the same person, aren't they? That girl was simply an orphan, a homeless nobody, and so I decided to take custody of her. And she just so happened to be the adoptive daughter of your former hated business partner, Felton, by pure coincidence? <laughs> I don't buy it. So, you're saying that besides synthesizing pharmaceutical drugs and spreading diseases, Mr. Felton and yourself were all dedicated to helping homeless minors? It was never about synthesizing a disease. Because the disease never existed. And the moths? Woken up at last. Hey, hey. Oh I God. barely touched it's just her. A bad dream. No, it wasn't a dream. I found you at the bottom of the stairs. You hit your head and lost a lot of blood. It was as if you were dead, Jen. Andrea went crazy. You must eat or drink something, young lady. She wanted to kill me. That's not possible, Jennifer. Andrea was with me. Here you go. Drink up. I am sure of what I saw. Everything is all right now. Calm down. There was also a large man. He had a, a, a strange wooden stick shaped like a spine. Poor Slim. That man is dead, young lady. No, I, I saw him. He was the one who pushed me down the stairs. You called him Wyman! That thing is no longer Professor Wyman. Andrea! That man is dead, and has been for a long time. He hung himself. You see, you were just dreaming. I... 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 I, I don't understand. Jen, you have to calm down now. You believe me, Lynn, don't you? You believe me, right? <laughs> she should get some rest now. Jen, if you need anything... I'm here for you. Sick. 
goodbye. Party first from my eye. If you leave me, pretty sure you miss me. If you fly, you lose something in the sky. Listen to me. Excuse me. Uh, are you new? I suppose so. I love that song. Where are you from? Flemington Girls Institute. What did you do? What do you mean? If you get transferred here, it means you are a real problem. Listen, I'm not up for making conversation. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I guess. I was hoping we would get to know each other better. That's all. I'm into illegal organ and drug trafficking. In my spare time, I exchange sex for cigarettes. Nice. I was expecting more like controversial political activist, promoter of black slavery and preservation of the Aryan race. Only in my spare time. Very well, you're right. I'm a real handful. Now, if you will excuse me. The pleasure was all mine. Lose something in the sky. You have to wake up. I beg you, wake up. Shit, they drugged you. Listen, you have to leave. You have to get away from this place. This story? Again? Everything you said before! I believe you! Porcelain and everything else you saw! You heard Andrea! He... He hung himself years ago! It's him, isn't it? Professor Albert Elias Wyman! The same walking stick you were talking about! See?! It was all an act. There was no body. And if there had been, it wouldn't have been his. I don't... I don't understand. There's no time to explain. They know who you are. They know!
control over the others, therefore eliminating the threat.
it by a second. Wait, what's that? Maybe they left a voicemail. Ashmina? Hi, Stefano, it's me, Ariana. I know it was you earlier. I know it was you all those other times. I beg you, stop tormenting us. I beg you, please, stop. Yes, it's true, I did love you once. But so much time has passed, too much time. It couldn't work, and it didn't. I am a married woman now, whether you like it or not, so get over it. And as for Richard, despite not having a choice, I stayed by his side when he endured all that shit that you put him through. Let us deal with our pain. Forget about us. Forget about me. Have some respect for us, a godforsaken couple who will never see their little girl ever again. I wish she could understand. Leave us be. Ariana? Richard? No, it can't be. It can't be them. It must be a coincidence, Jen. An old photograph in memory of when the Rosso Gallo farm was established, prior to its transformation into the Ashman Inn. like an eternity has passed since I ran away from home. Jesus! The Ashmans. I wonder if they were aware of all the abuses caused by their son to his little sister. Mom! Dad! Is this what you were looking for? Mr. Ashman, please, lower that gun. I don't want to hurt you. It's not my intention. Why won't you let me go, then? I have no choice, Celeste. I am not Celeste! Quit the act! You're the only one who can stop it! Please, Mr. Ashman, I beg of you, let me go. You're exactly the same as your slutty mother. That disgusting bitch. Phenoxyl made her lose her mind. She had to get in the way. I loved Ariana. Why did she keep this apart? Mr. Ashman. She had to be shown who was the real man. Did she not learn her lesson when I fucked her? <laughs> Maybe I can use it to my advantage.
both are responsible for this mess. You both are responsible for this mess! the most fascinating creature on the planet. It can communicate with others of its kind, even from great distances. Imagine if we could create a bridge between the human mnemonic apparatus and the communicative system of those beings, with rapid impulses and synapses, a transmission of images without the use of senses. That would be telepathy, miss. But most insects need a leader to guide them. Take bees, for example. They have a queen to guide them. Very good. That's what the hypnosis was for. During the hypnosis, the metronome is only a tool. The ticking is interpreted as a gentle flapping of the wings. But the real queen bee, or should I say Mother Acarantia, was... Whoever was hypnotizing others. Bingo. And he would have had complete control over them. The phenoxyl was able to fill in substantial memory gaps, formed by the removal of a particular event, such as traumas from one's memory. But why Celeste, then? That damned mother of hers, who was making regular use of phenoxyl during her pregnancy, managed to pass on to her an extraordinary gift, a special power. Do you not understand, Reed? Celeste was born a queen bee.
May Kay disappear. Hang her. She's all yours. Do what you want. Young lady, did your mother tell you that you were born because I fucked her? <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> it was never enough for that fucking whore. The hypnosis, the drugs, her daddy's money, and the company. No. She stole from me the woman I loved. And if that wasn't enough, she stained my family's name. And what about you? Wasn't fucking your sister enough for you? Don't you dare talk about Gloria that way! You're a fucking monster! Admit it! They kept her isolated, far away from anyone, just so that she couldn't spill all of your dirty family secrets! You don't know shit! And when it all started to resurface, you decided it was time to shut them up! Maybe by lighting it all up- SHUT UP! <laughs> It's the most idiotic story I've ever heard. Did your dearest father tell you that in reality he was a woman? That he married the woman that I loved just to keep up the act? That at just ten years of age his father stuffed him with meds? You weren't adopted! You best convince yourself that Felton is your biological mother! Give up! There's nothing you can do! <laughs> Quickly, or else you might die frozen! I know you can hear me. You can do it. Concentrate. Release what you are holding inside of you. You are a uh, Mother Acherontia. The moths are listening to you. What you have is not an illness. It's a gift. A gift. Use it. You can do it. I did it! I did it! I can't believe I did it! I have to leave at once. Sir, Quickly it's do. coming from the cold room. I think the lights went out. Open this fucking door, you bitch! You're all crazy! Crazy! You don't respect me! We thought we could stop them. To stop the parasite from spreading. And instead, it all turned against us. was close. I have to be careful from now on. If only this whole project had gone up in flames earlier, I wouldn't be in this mess. Not you too, Elisa. My Not head. you too. It's all their fault. I want to get away from here. So, Lynn waits tables. When will it end? supposed to end like this?
she's just a girl. Like many others. She can't help us. We can't. We can't leave. their chores? Obviously not. Wyman was right. We should have abandoned the project while we were still in time. We can't. We can't leave. Oh, my head. It's all her fault. Be strong. was our only option to achieve what we all wanted. And that was to forget about everything. My eyes, they burn. Well, they're <laughs> filthy, filthy dog! What do you want now? <laughs> Be quiet! <laughs> Shut <laughs> your <laughs> ass <laughs>
Calm down. I'm back to myself. You can trust me. What the fuck is going on here? What the hell is going on with the others? Listen to me. There's no time now. I want to get away from this place! Okay, I can help you escape, but you have to help me with something first. Jennifer, you have to trust me. I know what you are capable of, like what you did in the cold room. That voice, was that you earlier on? I can feel what you are holding inside, and I know that you can hear me. Listen up, there's a dumbwaiter in the utility room on the balcony. I know how to find the key, but you have to guide me. Guide you? And how would I do that? Exactly how I did with you earlier. I guided you to use your gift, allowing you to escape. Stay here. I'll go ahead. Concentrate. Look inside yourself. Okay, stay with me. Don't leave me. I'll give you the go-ahead as soon as I'm done. Run outside and come meet me. Okay, stay with me. Don't leave me. Shit, she's coming this way. Do you see that old jukebox? Use it. Here we are. There should be a key somewhere. Ashman usually hides it here. Where the fuck is it? God damn it, I can't get to it. Can you manage to see a small key up there? Oh, fuck, fuck. No! She heard me. Oh god, I have to hide. Jen, what do I do? Thank you, Jen. Thank you. Hold on just a little longer. She's getting away! She's getting away! Jen, you can stop her! I beg you, stop her! Uh, my head! I have to get to Elisa, now! What the hell is going on? Who the fuck was that? You've heard of that fire at the convent, haven't you? Well, not all of them died. 
Gloria Ashman. Jennifer, you have to help us, I beg you. We are trapped in a hypnotic loop. As soon as the loudspeaker starts ticking, our minds go back into a limbo. I... 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 I don't understand. What can I possibly do? That... that thing lives down there. It has no effect on you. You can end the loop. <laughs> There is much time left. I beg you, please. It's in my head. I can't get out of the loop. Has no effect done you. You can end the loop. Sorry, I thought I was alone. No, please, continue. I prefer not to, really. I'm... I'm Jennifer, by the way. Lindsay? But call me Lynn. I'm sorry for earlier on. Don't worry about it. I was too intrusive. And I extremely rude. Oh, well, truce? <laughs> Truth. <laughs> what were you doing here? I was just singing. I usually play the violin, but they locked it away as soon as I got here. <laughs> if you can play the violin even as half as well as you can sing, then you're a fucking master. <laughs> Nothing special. You got a great voice. And that song. Did you write it? I'm still working on it. I got an idea. There's a festival for artists with original songs. The winner gets a full scholarship at the conservatory. Here, look. The performance will take place in a theater. I say you should go for it. No, no. There's no way I would ever be capable of something like that. Why did you say that? First off, we're stuck here. Second, singing and playing the violin at the same time is too complicated. I, I could never do it on my own. I could do it with you! I play the piano! Listen, we can do this! I don't know, Jen. I don't know. And how would we even get there? We could talk to Ashwin about it. Yeah, dream on. <laughs> it's only two weeks away. We can work on it together. All we need is a music sheet and a bit of practice. I know the piano so well that it's basically a part of me. But the lyrics are nowhere near finished. My father used to tell me that nothing, not even time, can get in the way of something you truly desire. Where are you from? <laughs> it's not a nice story.
fail. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner! Abdul Jabbar? Have you ever tried one? Sure, why not? Fuck it. <laughs> when the smoke is about to enter your throat, you exhale. Did you know they made it for a movie? Seriously? You bet. Before saying goodbye, it was a great hit in the 60s. Have you never heard of it? No. My parents brought me to the cinema to see it. As soon as we got home, my father taught me how to play the theme song on the piano. <laughs> Would you like it if we were to watch it together one day? You bet. Doing. Oh, don't give up now, Jim. <laughs> I can hear you. I can feel what you are feeling. I am in your head. You keep getting closer and closer. But what are you planning to do? Stop me. You will fail. As did all those who came before you. What is this place? Oh my god! No, no! Murderers! Fucking murderers! It's not too late. Turn back, little girl. Fly away. Go away. Old x-rays. It kind of looks like the reception of an old hospital, or something similar. Oh my god! Oh my god! What happened here?
Something switched on. Various documents and newspaper extracts. It almost looks like a sociopath's hideout. This is how it all started. Gloria managed to obtain control of the other nuns, becoming Mother Acrantia. Wyman couldn't possibly have used the business's finances to fund the experiments without someone noticing, which means that Ashman knew everything. No wonder, while everyone thought you were dead, you were down here, playing the role of the happy surgeon. Fiend. 
Minoxil, created as a byproduct of synthesizing the moth parasite known as Acherontia. Its use leads to a parasitic infection. By emulating the moth's behavior, phenoxyl can result in a collective hypnosis in which multiple individuals are forced to obey a leader or a mother Acherontia. Collective hypnosis. The leader uses a person known as the medium as a channel and amplifier for other subjects. When the medium is surrounded by mirrors to simulate a fragmentation of the mind, the parasites awaken and spread. The start. The leader uses a recall element for the medium called the anchor. This can be a nursery rhyme or a song, and it's this that initiates the hypnosis. The leader acquires full control over everyone else through the medium. A collective consciousness starts. The ending. The leader can interrupt the loop by awakening the medium with a push, another nursery rhyme or a song. When the infected subjects and the medium wake, everything that happened during the hypnotic phase is forgotten. The collective consciousness breaks. The fracture. If a collective hypnosis is abruptly interrupted, there is a risk of fracture, also called the porcelain phase. Here, the leader's consciousness becomes fragmented and is then absorbed by the medium. The body of the leader becomes wholly controlled by the Acherontia, while the leader's mind remains trapped inside the medium, gradually unable to control his own body. Meanwhile, the parasite continues its expansion in the infected subjects. Collective hypnosis will occur regularly until another potential leader intervenes to break the looping cycle. Oh dear. What happened? What's that? It looks like there's light coming from that wall. It's a hidden door. Bingo. The protection room. Did Wyman really believe that it was possible to suppress pain or a disease with a fucking psychotropic? Is it supposed to be the myth of the super fucking man?
Oh, they've all stopped. Oh, they've all stopped.
What is this place? All these clothes and these toys. What does it all mean? Where have I ended up? Here you are. And this? How did it end up here? <gasps> in order to get everyone to meet me again. Her two were stowing me a We are trapped in a hypnotic loop. As soon as the loudspeaker starts ticking, our minds go back into a limbo. How on earth does this work?
tons of films here. This place isn't so bad after all. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's go, you and I. Seriously? Look, you are the only thing that has ever made me feel alive. I want to start over from scratch. Explain to me, what exactly are we looking for? Shh, we have to be quiet. Ashman always keeps some cash in the office, for small emergencies, etc. Yes, 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 I like getting myself into trouble. Let's call it a compensation for our services. I wonder if I'll also find my violin. I haven't played it in ages. How long ago did you get here? It will be two years in November. I needed a roof over my head. Ashman was rebuilding his new project, the hotel. So, here's the new maid. What about you? How was the Flemington Girls and whatever it's called? Mm, it wasn't bad, more than anything. Well, I couldn't be- We're here. And before that? <sighs> I ran away. At least, that's what I remember. Lynn, it's a sad story. I left it in the past. Do you ever feel the urge to rewrite it all? Change life? Change name? Feel like a whole new person. All the time. Locked, obviously. What now? Wait, I can try to force it. Have you done it before? Um, no, but I've seen it being done. So, you became a professional after watching it being done? No, but I'm a quick learner. <laughs> well, hun, let's roll up our sleeves. Can you imagine Ashman's face when he finds out we used his money to pay for train tickets, hotel, and the contest sign-up fee? Oh, <laughs> yes, he will lose his shit. Nothing. What do we have here? Look at this! 
Let's go crazy, would you say? Uh, where did you find that? And what are you planning to do with it? Oh, I, I almost forgot. <gasps> you finished it! I convinced myself that we should take part in the contest. <sighs> we have to try it immediately! But how? I'll show you. Help me out. What are you doing?! Sing. But how? Pretend you can hear the music. I'll guide you. to leave now. The window. Jennifer. It's the same thing. They will never let me leave. Energy. I can do it. 
I can do it now. I have to try again.
it! I don't see anyone following us! What did you do down there? In the loudspeaker control room? I... simply took out the cables. Dad, why did you do it? I... I don't understand. I ended the sequence. You're free! That's exactly what they wanted you to do! The exact reason why you ended up in this fucking place! I... In one way I, or another, Porcelain kept us all guarded. Someone else will take his place now. And it's going to be ten times worse. It's only a matter of time. Oh, Shen, you shouldn't have... They will never let me leave! Why are you involved in this too? Explain, for God's sake! What did you do? I had warned you not to touch anything. Not to trust anyone. Enough of the stuttering! And the child is dreaming in REM face. The riddle. And on open wings, a moth is a place. And when his mother screamed that much, a blood red death bestowed its touch. I told you to leave. To leave this godforsaken place! <laughs> what the hell was that? They found us! And he never left us. Why did you do it? <laughs> <laughs> She was our only hope of getting rid of porcelain. You knew it very well. Jennifer was your daughter. From what I know, you liked her too. You... You need to shut your mouth, you fucking rapist! How vulgar. Felton deserved it. How could I have known that he was still capable of conceiving? I thought that fucking him was enough to remind him that he is just a pussy. And to punish him for stealing Ariana from me. Fucking son of a bitch! It was you who insisted so much that I reminded you of the whole story. At the end of the day, we're just chatting, isn't that right? Jennifer, I have to... to stay. What does that mean? You want to quit now? We are in deep trouble. Can't you see? Let's leave our troubles here. Let's leave. We can start over. I, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. Us, the contest. Do you not understand? You have to leave. Holy shit, we know. There's no use. They will never let us leave. I belong to this place. Lynn, you have to listen to me. Put that thing away! Nineteen years. Nineteen years has passed. If I'm being honest, it would have been better for everyone if you had done it that same night. Lynn! 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 You won't do it, Mr. Ashman. Oh, yes, Lynn. I will. Of course I will. Madam? Would you like to stop? I doubted myself so many times. I often pondered on it. Believe me. Would I have had the same courage? How does someone who's about to lose everything feel if that person has already lost everything once before? I would have done the same for my sister. If only I 
had a chance. Do you not see what this insatiable surfer has led you to? I was only a child. You and Wyman. You used me. The nuns. Gloria. She was your sister. Shut your fucking mouth. Do it. Please, shoot me. Come on. What will the young lady at the reception desk say? The young lady at the what? <laughs> Who the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> 5 p.m. Poor thing. She left just after your arrival. <laughs> <laughs> There's no one else here besides you and I. Well, almost. We're so happy you came back, Lynn. Like old times, remember? <laughs> Only between old friends. You don't deserve to die. You deserve a much worse ending. You deserve to suffer by living in agony as I did for the past 19 years by rebelling during the last hypnosis. The one that should have stopped Gloria and her acarantia. It only slowed down things. The after effects that Wyman feared. The fracture. The porcelain phase. Nevertheless, you were somehow left linked to one another. And now, you are once again a single being, a unified conscience. Let me out of here! Do you not understand that you have come back because he wanted to? And whilst Felton and I desperately searched for a way to use Phenoxyl to forget, Wyman replaced the holes in our memories with his own. He inserted his conscience in our minds. And, do you know the reason why he did it, Lynn? Fuck off! He was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. Now, you are his biggest inheritance! I just want to get away from this place. I have to keep trying. The remote! Come on, read. You can do it!
Fuck you! Was not Fuck you, you piece place. of shit! But it is you who complete the puzzle. You were the missing piece. <sighs> Fucking door! Lynn, it's useless. Celeste, Jennifer. My things. The cassette player. Maybe I can use it. However, she is no longer here and cannot help you. There is nothing you can do to free yourself from this limbo. From your hypnotic loop. The three of us are linked by the hypnosis. We form a single consciousness. He was the one who brought you here. He wanted you all to himself. Wyman is inside of you. You are porcelain, his greatest inheritance. You're the one who wanted all of this. This is your anchor. Don't you understand? Where is your push now? If you leave this place, you will be destined to forget it all. We are all part of a single consciousness. The three of us only. If you divide us, you will lose everything. Crap. Why won't you give up? Don't you understand we're all part of the same thing? Accept it! Accept it! It was not anchored to this place, but it is you who complete the puzzle. You were the missing piece. Lynn, it's useless. Celeste, Jennifer, or however you prefer, she was your only push. However, she is no longer here and cannot help you. There is nothing you can do to free yourself from this limbo, from your hypnotic loop. The three of us are linked by the hypnosis. We form a single consciousness. He was the one who brought you here. He wanted you all to himself. Wyman is inside of you. You are porcelain, his greatest inheritance. You're the one who wanted all of this. This is your anchor. Don't you understand? Where is your push <gasps> Bingo. now? Fuck! That son of a bitch keeps rambling on and on! Why won't you give up? Don't you understand? If you leave this place, you will be destined to forget it all. <gasps> Bingo! We are all part of a single consciousness. Bastard. Of us only. If it's a hypnotic loop that you are after, you 
Trust me when I say that you're going to get one! Now we're talking. These are all Phenoxyl documents! This is proof of all the experiments they carried out! The results, even the names of every single person involved in this mess! Including all the young girls who went missing before they found Jennifer. Coming, you son of a bitch! Everything I want to know. <laughs> Are you going to make me? <laughs> Are you going to threaten to kill me? <laughs> Go ahead! <laughs> Wouldn't be so bad after all. <laughs> <laughs> I know very well that you never lost track of Jennifer. That you've been following her movements since 1973. Fuck off! Where is she? And how many other Jennifers came before her? How many Ashmen? Where are we? Where the fuck are we? Let me out of this godforsaken place! I want to go home! And I want you to answer my questions. No, it's not possible. This is the Red Nun's convent!
Lin! Was Lin one of them? Gloria and the others, they had all gone mad. blind, then they drugged us and burned us alive. We will forever be in debt with you for giving us our freedom back. But now, go away. What does it all mean? This photo? Was Lin one of you? We don't want to hurt you. But this is our game now. It is no longer any of your business. Yourself. Where the fuck is Lynn? Where? What have you done to her? It was your last chance, and you wasted it. I won't open my mouth. I'll keep everything to myself. The moths are protecting her, but it looks like they retreat from the fire. to us. They deserve to be punished. Where are you? Show yourself! You're not so different from the others after all. Then again, you are a Felton. I will go away. I will go away. But Lin is coming with me. You are free to do so. We are free to do so. 
If you're not with us, you're against us. Oh, Jen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to be quick. I have to find that fucking bitch there upstairs. I know she's there. Maybe I can use my power. She's there! Maybe I can use my power! Hey, are you okay? No, uh, I, I don't know, I- What's wrong with you now? She's only been here a couple of days and she's made a mess of everything. Lynn, where's Lynn? Who the hell are you talking about? Go, get a rag, Jesus Christ. It's in the utility closet, Jen. You do remember where the key is, don't you?
I don't understand. Why do I feel like I've been through all this before? It feels like deja vu. I can almost remember something. Maybe I'm going crazy. I've been here before, but everything was different. I can't shake this feeling. How did I get back to the hotel? Don't you understand, girl? Gloria won. You're now a part of them, too. You've been integrated. You'll only remember what she wants you to remember. Gloria? Ashman's sister? This is where Elisa... Um, I remember that something happened here. There used to be a key somewhere around here. How did I know that? And why can't I remember anything else? They will never remember Lynn exists. Gloria won't let them. She's now her medium. There's no time left. Find Lynn. Use her push. Stop the hypnosis. It's the only solution. Who... Who are you? You know, they used to call me Wyvern once upon a time. That's all I could do after letting my consciousness be fragmented and my body become a host for the parasites. You're the only one who can awaken my... Awaken them all. I did. Gloria is so nice th to me. Why shouldn't she be? You're such a nice girl. Professor Wyman. Yes, my dear? That stuff that you gave me. Is the same that you made me use on the others. Will it make me turn b blind like them? <laughs> Will I forget everything? That's enough. You know that I would never use that shit on you. Oh, my dear. It's for their own good. You don't want them to suffer any longer, do you? I don't want to hurt them. And 
You don't want them to hurt Ashman and I, right? <laughs> I'll do it. Great. Let's start. Someone who is trapped in a limbo. What could be used as a push? Think, Jen. Think! <gasps> the song! My tape recorder. I could hook it up to the loudspeaker. No, no, no! Shit! No, no, no! <sighs> what now? What am I going to do? <sighs> the film! Yes, I remember that day. I have to find the film. <sighs> I have to go back to the hotel. To the cinema room.
hurt me. Now I understand how it managed to... I can't believe I'm still dragging around this lice-infested suitcase. I've had it since I was at the Flemington Institute. I have to reach the cinema room. In the old wing. you be cleaning room 212? Of course. And I am. It's just that... Uh, what? That... Uh, do you, uh, by any chance, have a key for the cinema room? Ashman asked me to clean it up a bit. That's the least you could do. After the mess you made. You're absolutely right. Anyway, I'll be very quick, and then I'll, I'll come back to finish off room 212. <laughs> I can't help you. After what you did... Mr. Ashman insisted that no one else was to have access to the cinema room but himself. He has the only key, and I believe he's taking a nap in his room right now. I'll be quick. Let me speak with him. Young lady, don't make me say it again. Go to room 212 and do your job! I can have a look around the place. I have to hide and try not to make a sound, at least until she's here. Okay, I have to find the film before saying goodbye. It was he- Gotcha! Before saying goodbye. No, 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 no! no. I beg you! I'll take this, my dear. <gasps> you cannot stop her, and it's certainly- Find me. Surprise! Okay, I have to return to the basement and play this film on the projector. I'm still dragging parents. around this lice-infested suitcase. This time? I've had it since I was at the Flemington Institute. Play the d- 
her memories back. Isn't that right? Memories of you harassing her. You were only a little girl at the time. It was Lynn. She's the one who started the fire. She betrayed all of you. She didn't have a choice. You tricked her, drugged her, and forced her to do it. Gloria, you believe me, right?
like them. You're not like them. You used to be my sister. You did it. You... You betrayed us all! Lynn! It doesn't matter how. We have to go! Or when! But I won't be satisfied until you'll all be dead! Lynn! We have to go! killing your parents, Celeste! <sighs> <laughs> promise me that you'll put an end to this. I'm not going to promise anything. That you'll put an end to all of this. I want you to shoot me. Promise me. Promise me. Okay. Okay. I know that shortly after she returned to her parents, the Feltons, but things got out of hand. And you know, Gloria kept her promise. Her thirst for revenge was not quenched. But Jennifer managed to run away. I know that she's somewhere in Sweden now. She writes. She's a writer or something like that. Her publications are signed under a pen name. How many other people? What do you mean? Before you successfully found that Jennifer and brought her to the Ashman Inn. How many before her? How many girls did you suspect to be the mother Acherontia? To then end up living under Porcelain's mercy? How many? They were simple mistakes! How many simple mistakes? Fourteen. Fourteen altogether. You will shoot me, won't you? Right? You deserve far worse. You deserve to suffer by living in agony, as I did for the past 19 years. Whore! Fucking whore! You brought me! Turn to my parents. But what about the contest? I'll be there. I promise. <laughs> promise me. I promise. <laughs> Oh, 
What an odd name for a violin. <laughs> Read Rosemary. Read Rosemary. Uh, I prefer Reed. <laughs> You'll give it back to me at the theater. Now you have no excuses for missing the performance! I'll see you there! <laughs> Promise me! We'll see each other at the top of the world! I didn't keep that promise. I returned to my parents the following day, the Feltons. Gloria followed me shortly after. She managed to subdue them. She got her revenge. I ran away again, leaving everything behind. I'm sure that if I hadn't, she would have killed me. And when? We just left there waiting for you. Madam, how did you come to know about this whole story? Did Rosemary... Lynn... try to contact you? No. She didn't. I think that as long as she knew that I was safe, and I had forgotten everything, nothing else mattered to her. But this doesn't explain everything else. It happened last year. Yes? Am I speaking with Celeste Felton? Who are you? I'm calling on behalf of Miss Lindsay. She is very weak now and has asked to see you. She left the following day. Ashman was right when he said Lynn was Wyman's inheritance, and the only thing that he left her was his Alzheimer. This is from her.
My older sister. My older sister. I was only two years old when... when... by now she would have been... 64. 64 years old. She was one of the other Jennifers. One of the 14 gone missing. Kidnapped. Killed. Before they successfully found the right one. Me. Lynn never managed to come to terms with it. For all these years, she held on to my memories, her own, and those of the other victims. And all she went back to the top of the world many times hoping that maybe one day my memories might resurface Theater on the stage at the piano. <laughs> 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 